Hi, I'm John Kang Wook, a vascular transplant surgeon in charge of vascular surgery and kidney transplantation at the Catholic University of Korea Puchan St. Mary's Hospital. Kidney transplantation is one of the new replacement therapies. Replacement therapy includes hemodialysis, peritoneal dialysis, and kidney transplantation. Kidney transplantation is a surgical procedure that restores kidney function by transplanting a kidney from another person to end-stage renal disease patients and transplanting a new kidney to patients with impaired renal function. There are usually two methods. The first method is to do a transplant, usually a family member or relative or a couple. Even if these family relationships is not an option, if there is a willingness to donate to a terminally ill person, the first thing to do is to test the recipient and tissue or suitability of the person who wants to make the donation. There will be an evaluation of suitability. If found suitable, then transplant surgery is decided. Another method is in-death kidney transplantation. In the case of in-death kidney transplantation, one needs a deceased patient that is given consent onto donating their kidney to the patient. Transplanting to end-stage renal failure patients by removing the kidneys from terminal patients through various methods, there are two ways. Usually, a kidney transplant is performed and according to our hospital standards, if the kidney transplant is performed and the kidney function is restored immediately, it is usually possible to be discharged from the hospital in two to three weeks. And after surgery, there is a need for time to pay attention for one to three months. After the previous surgery, the patient has to take immunosuppressive drugs for a long time to prevent rejection, so the patient may be in a state of reduced immune function after kidney transplantation. Therefore, it becomes quite vulnerable to infection, and if you partake in crowded places or if you have a wound, it may make you extremely vulnerable to infection, etc. It is recommended to refrain from going to public places for around three to six months. First of all, in the case of end-stage renal failure patients, before going through the process of receiving a kidney transplant, the patient's water intake is suppressed and the patient's diet is controlled thoroughly. What you really need to do now is make sure to drink a lot of water. Another thing you need is a lot of energy. For you to be able to get that energy needed, you must make sure that you'll be able to consume a sufficient amount of protein. I eat a lot of food because I have an increased appetite. But if I eat too much and gain weight, it affects the renal function altogether. So, putting that together, a proper diet is needed. Also, if you take grapefruit juice, the concentration of the immunosuppressant increases rapidly. So, it is highly recommended to refrain from sour fruits or citrusy fruits, such as grapefruit and tangerine. Also, after surgery, unlike before, the body will need to recover. So, it is very important to maintain physical strength through continuous exercise and exercise therapy. So far, I gave you a brief introduction to kidney transplantation. If you receive a kidney transplant, it is an opportunity to lead a new life. Whenever possible, it seems that it would be better to consider kidney transplant surgery as the surest method among kidney replacement therapies. Thank you.